Hey there students, welcome to math.surf.com. In this quick short clip, we're going to be going over position, velocity, and acceleration and its um, relationship to if a particle is speeding up, slowing down, moving back, or forth. Instructions are as follows. With a given uh, position function of a particle, find the value of the indicated function, state the meaning with units, and describe the behavior um, of the motion of the particle. Okay? Now, just a few things to note before um, we get started with the examples. Points to note. Uh, number one is that um, if if uh, the acceleration a of t and velocity b of t have the same sign. Have the same sign what happens <clears throat> if they have the same sign then the particle um, speeds up okay is as though they're working in agreement with one another okay so same signs for velocity and acceleration means that the particle is speeding up okay speeds up now, if the acceleration and velocity, V of T, have different signs, like one is positive, the other is negative, if they have different signs, then what happens? <clears throat> then the particle uh, slows down. Okay. All right. A few other points to note. Um, number three. If um, the velocity is greater than zero, positive velocity, then the particle moves forward. Okay. Forward where forward is a positive direction, okay? But if the velocity is less than zero, then the particle, particle moves backwards. It's like a car that is backing up. And of course, if the velocity is zero, the particle is not moving, the particle is at rest, okay? If we have t equals zero, then the particle is at rest. Okay, let's consider this example, number one. Let's say your position function is um, 2t to the third of minus t, and we're to find the velocity at t equals 2 and the acceleration at the same time and then uh, state the meaning and describe the behavior of the motion of the particle. Okay, so remember xba ziva um, when you are going down this continuum you are differentiating with respect to time. Okay, so one step from position to velocity is a a derivative. Another step down to acceleration is another derivative. So if you differentiate position twice, you go to acceleration. If you differentiate velocity once, you go to acceleration. And if you differentiate position once, you end up with velocity. Okay, so <clears throat> to find V of t, we have to first of all find the derivative. So um, x of t, that's x of t, V of t <clears throat> equals uh, the derivative of position, okay? Remember, you do your calculus first before you evaluate um, with arithmetic. Now, to differentiate this term, we're going to do term-by-term -term differentiation, okay? 2t to the third prime minus t prime. All right, so now we have 2t to the third. If you use a power rule, 2 times 3, you power down and mark down. 2 times 3. 
t to the 3 minus 1. And then using the, um, the differentiation shortcut we went over in the previous presentation, there's a 1 here. The derivative of t is just 1. Okay? All right. Now we have the velocity function, v of t. Let's simplify it. We have 6t squared minus 1. While we're at it, we might as well find the uh, acceleration function. The acceleration function a of t is the derivative of the velocity function. Okay? So what we're going to do is differentiate these two terms. So 6t squared prime <clears throat> minus 1 prime. Okay? So what does that give us? We have... Apply the power rule again here, 6 times 2t to the 2 minus 1, and the derivative of a constant is just 0. If we simplify that, we end up with 12t uh, along. Okay, so a of t, the acceleration function, is 12t. Now, with these two in mind, we can now find v of 2 and a of 2. Now, um, Let's find v of 2 first. So with this information, velocity at t equals 2 is going to be 6 times 2 squared minus 1, which is 6 times 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1. So this is 24 minus 1, which is 23. All right. And acceleration. Acceleration um, when time is 2 is equal to 12 times 2, okay, and then that's 24. All right, so um, in the problem, let's see what the units are. <clears throat> I indicated earlier that, um, let's see, distance is in meters and time is in seconds, so let's apply that here. Velocity is in meters per second. And acceleration is in meters per second squared. Okay, so let's state what our answers mean. Uh, v of 2 equals 23. Oh, let's put meaning. Uh, means that the velocity of the particle. at t equals 2 seconds is 23 meters per second. Okay? <clears throat> and then our second answer, a of 2 equals 24. What does that mean? Well, this means that the um, acceleration of the particle at um, t equals 2 seconds is what? 24 meters per second square. Okay? Now, with that in mind, we can uh, discuss the behavior of the particle. Behavior <coughs> Of the particle. Now, in this case, we can see that velocity and acceleration are both positive. So, what does that mean? The object is speeding up. Okay, so let's go ahead and write this down. Since velocity v at t equals 2 is greater than 0 and a of 2 is greater than 0, okay, what you want to notice is that they have the same sign, positive sign, namely, okay, since they would have the same sign, then, I'll, I'm sorry, and then also, and, well, we know that velocity is greater than zero, so since they have the same sign, then um, the particle is speeding up or slowing down. If velocity and acceleration have the same sign, the particle normally speeds up. So the particle is speeding up. Up. 
in the is it moving forward or backwards it's moving in the forward direction direction and that is because our acceleration I'm sorry our velocity is positive so when, remember whenever velocity is positive that tells you the direction of the um, of the particle the direction of the movement of the particle if it's positive it's moving forward and if it's negative it's moving backwards when it's zero it has no motion whatsoever it is at rest okay so that's that